Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stopping in and see what it is I'm up to. I hope this wind isn't gonna be a problem. Probably will be. Um, got storms rolling in, but uh, anyway, I've been trying to brainstorm a way to make up a bed in the in the brat buggy so I can go out, you know, use it as a steel tent here, here, there, and elsewhere when I'm out traveling. Sleeping on the on the floor just ain't no good. So years ago, I mean years and years ago, back when I first started doing my first aid training and whatnot, uh, we were we were taught how to make a Travis type stretcher, and I'm thinking that's going to work. Now it is super easy to make. They really are, and they are super strong. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about doing it. This is not the all the materials I'm going to use. I have another idea, but let's get over here And I'll show you what I got going on This is just this is some uh, basically some furry strips I had laying around from the haunt and they're halfway sturdy I don't know I'm hoping they're going to support my big butt but we're going to take a blanket first thing I'm going to do you don't usually do this, but because of the materials that I'm using, I am going to sandwich the edge of the blanket, make it as straight as possible. It's not super, I don't have to be super particular about it. And then I'm just going to roll it over one time, like that. Now we go over this other board. Like so. Pull this blanket up and lay it back over. Give me just a minute. Use another piece of firewood to give me some space. What do you think? Dare I dare? Oh, that's going to hurt if I hit the ground. Oh, no cracking. Oh, but the wood kind of creeping in on me. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Ah. I'm not going to try that. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I'm going to go with like two inch PVC pipe and make a full frame to fit inside the brat buggy um, but in the meantime this works it'll work it'll work as a stretcher 
it'll work as a travis where you put stuff on it and drag it uh, very simple this is just a heavy duty cotton blanket it'll most likely work with a good plastic tarp it works on friction um, the two pieces the pieces laid together uh, won't pull apart so yep there you go look for a future video on uh, me baking an actual bed for me to sleep it in the brat buggy until then let me know what you think give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice oh excuse me if you'd like to share me around on your social media that'd be fandoculous if you have a youtube channel and want to give me a shout out that'd be really cool too um if you go check me out on facebook there'll be a link in the description box wherever that is on your device you'll also see similar videos although i don't have a whole lot of other how to's like this but we'll figure something out um bunch of other nonsense down there including my snail mail address if you'd like to send me mail whether it be a postcard or some rocks or you know something something that you find interesting that that says your state or country that'd be super cool i i enjoy sharing that type of stuff with my the, with the grand brats and uh it gets them more involved so uh you know mother nature has a tendency of throwing a monkey wrench into our lives and you never know what it could be i was just talking to a good friend and uh their partner is slowly fading away from them due to alzheimer's it's an insidious disease it's nearly as insidious if not more so than cancer because they're not wasting away it's just they aren't there anymore so uh, if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on facebook let them know you're thinking about them let them know you're there for them um we're not promised tomorrow people you never know when the last time you, you talk to someone's going to be the last time you get to say i love you so Never let a loved one leave without saying I love you. Even if you're mad at them. Especially if you're mad at them. Don't live with that regret. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Bye-bye.